Hello world! Happy Halloween! My name is Emerald and I love books. I also love movies. Unfortunately, books that are turned into movies don't always end up very well. All throughout the month of October, I decided to both reread and vlog my way through the book Dracula. Perfect for Halloween spooky season. It's a book with characters I really love. I think it is a very fun read. And if you're wondering how dark and scary Dracula could be a fun read, I encourage you, well, one, to read it, but then also to watch my series where I point out lots of things that make me laugh. If you have read the book, then still check out my series. Feel free to reach out in the comments and we can talk about the book. For this video, I thought it only made sense after reading and vlogging about the book Dracula would be to watch a movie based on the book. I use the term based very loosely. I'll be watching the 1992 Francis Ford Coppola film Bram Stoker's Dracula. Now I have seen the Francis Ford Coppola one before. Um, it's been many many years. I waited until nighttime to watch this which might have been a mistake for my lighting. <laughs> Usually I'm not a horror movie person, I'm a scaredy cat, but I think I'll be safe for this one because I think I'll just be so annoyed and angry with it. Yeah, I'll admit, I leaned more on the side of the book purist. But that being said, I think there have been really well done movie adaptions of books. I don't have a problem with a director or writer taking certain liberties or changing things around. Little things. Here and there, of course, you can't always include everything. My frustration comes in when you have a completely new plot and the only thing that is the same is the characters. So for me, that's using somebody else's success and ripping off of it to get money. Not only is it frustrating as a book reader who enjoys the source material, it's just, it just comes off as very facetious to me, shady. I don't like that as a business practice. If you just want to look at it as a movie, I can separate it from Bram Stoker's book because you, you put Bram Stoker's freaking name in the title. It's right there. You brought this into it, not me. So you can't be mad at me when I'm judging it based on Bram Stoker's words. Whoever wrote this, whoever decided that they were going to make a Dracula movie, basically wrote their own movie. They, were, they wanted this tale of a love story between this fierce vampire and his reincarnated lover that's fine make make that your movie don't don't bring Mina into this why you gotta name it the same characters as Bram Stoker's book I am a Mina Harker Nee Murray stan and I know I know I'm gonna be so mad I think we have no choice but to get into it I don't hate that they're bringing the history into it because Dracula was a historical figure I don't mind this addition to it. I don't mind that. Everything else is gonna come after. Winona! He might never return. They're that couple in the hallway that just can't quit it with the PDA. <sighs> Elizabeth. Carrying false news of Dracula's death, Elizabeth, believing him dead, flung herself into the river. You'd think that she would, I don't know, fact check? Especially when they're coming from your enemy. They got her body? Why is it just laying on the ground? Put it in a casket or a bed or something. I'm very sad. Her falling. The effects. They do the end of my body be salvat. Yes, they bless the mother. Maybe not something to say to someone who's grieving. Oh, where's why is the blood coming from? Oh, bro, you don't know where that's been. That's not been boiled or sanitized. I'm so glad I get to see the insect eating portrayed on the screen. So glad that that, out of all the few things they kept from the source material that they included. Thanks, Francis. I'll attend to the count. Thank you for your confidence. This is not British. <laughs> One of the things that people really don't like about this movie is Keanu Reeves just casting because his British accent is terrible. Sure, fine. 
Jonathan Harker in the book is a himbo king, I think Keanu Reeves is perfect casting for it. They could they could have just made him like American working in England, couldn't they? I mean, they're obviously not sticking to things as they are anyway. We can be married when I return. Jonathan, I love you. I love you, Mina. Why does he sound so wooden? I'm bummed that we missed him completely ignoring all the townspeople telling him not to go, shaking their heads in disappointment. <laughs> I love this costume. I love the theatrics. <clears throat> just looked up into the carriage. Maybe this is just as funny as the book. Ooh, that's fun. He seems so unbothered by any of this, which really is how Jonathan Harker is in the book. I think Keanu's doing great so far. Welcome to my home. And I am Dracula. <laughs> I like his hair. And I never dream. Count, are, are the owner of Carfax Abbey at Perfleet? It's just like, oh well. The luckiest man who walks on this earth is the one who finds true love. But how does he know? How does he know that she was reincarnated into this random girl in Britain? And how did he know to find Parker? Is this the first time she's been reincarnated? Sir, are you married? No. Asking these rude questions. I know that Jonathan does not want me to stay here with Lucy while he is away. Jonathan had no issues with Lucy in the book. Yes, but not even one marriage proposal. But here I am, almost 20. Hmm, pretty house. What is that? A Texan. Quincy P. Morris. That away. Oceans of love. Oh, Jack, oh, stop. Yeah, they're all friends in the book. Is that Gary Ellis? I'll play for King. Something I can teach. Something I can feed. Mm -hmm. No one would refuse me, King. I would. I need lives. I need lives for the master. Master for what master? Oh. You let that drop quick. As if I have a part to play in a story that is not known to me. What if? What is he holding? What is he holding? What is that? Towels? Oh, just a little bit. <laughs> Ooh. In the book, he throws the mirror out the window. Jonathan doesn't think it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Should not be leaving the room. Why are you going around the creepy castle at night? This is so stupid. Why are you snooping through his stuff? Oh, he's flying. I literally do not care about his ability to love. <laughs> act. Act, Keanu, act. I will say, Gary Oldman is superb so far. He's super creepy. That's probably the best part so far. <laughs> To my dear number three, Lord Arthur Homewood. You know, what is it? It's the most exciting day of my life. So in the book, Arthur is courting Lucy before she meets the other two men. The other two meet her and propose her in the same day. She truly loves Arthur from the start. Lucy's character is also weird. Like now she's making Nina feel bad for worrying about her fiance who's traveling in a different hand. Like Lucy in the book was just very sweet and very nice. No, I don't. I don't know why they would change the character like that. Ha <laughs> 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 rain. Oh. <laughs> you make me dizzy. What? 
The dog the whole town wants to adopt. <laughs> In the book, there's a newspaper article that reports on the dog that runs off the ship. And even though everybody on the boat is dead, everybody's like, oh, that's a bummer. But they want to find the dog, and the town wants to adopt the dog, which is Dracula. Why does he look like that? So confused. Why does he look like that? Like, why? In the book, he changes from a bat, like an actual bat, a dog. Or he looks like a man. He doesn't look like a wolf man. But this is Dracula. Not the werewolf story. Why? Oh. Oh. Did they just walk right by him? Carfax. Show me the Carfax. It's so convenient that there is an open house right next to the asylum. Now he looks like Sirius Black. What's those glasses? What are the chances? What are the chances? Oh, that's a cool detail. He's not in the reflection. Smooth with it. Is it beautiful lady? You may purchase a street atlas for sixpence. Good day. If you seek culture, then visit a museum. London is filled. Yes, Nina. Get lost. A woman's so lovely. Sir. Don't kill that. Being rude. No, you haven't. I am your servant. I just don't understand. I mean, why does a horror movie about a demonic creature need a love story? Why? It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't need it. I mean, there's technically already two different love stories. There's Lucy and Arthur have a love story. Mina and Jonathan have a love story. You don't need the villain, the evil, creepy monster guy. I have a love story. You don't. You don't. Yeah. What is that yeah. wedding dress? Or did you want me alone just once before I married? <laughs> Lucy. Lucy needs a cold me. shower. I can't get over Harry Elvis in this. <laughs> Abraham von Helsing, a metaphysician philosopher. Helsing. Sounds like a goddamn witch doctor to me, Jack. Hey, now. Do not fear me. Oh yeah, that's very comforting. Oh, the red eyes. He's been token. Uh oh. Run, Mina. Follow him. Oh, run. Come here, Mina. Oh, nice doggy. All right, I'm gonna be honest. Letting me pet a dog. You got me there. Okay, but like, where did everybody else go? And it's still a wolf. Come on, what is going on? Mina and Jonathan the book love each other so much. Mina is loyal as hell. She would never do this. Try playing around with some prince guy with weird looking sunglasses. Like a beatnik. No ma'am. Absolutely not. Thank you, that will be all. Ooh, not for the other boy. Don't. He's going through it. What's happening? What is happening? This is interpretive dance. My God. Yikes. Oh, interesting. Interesting. So this is how it was done. What took it out? It's a good question, Mr. Morris. Where did he come from? Something just went up there, sucked it out of her, and flew away, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Why not? Astral bodies. Could he just disappear? Is Van Helsing a vampire in this? A monster. Whoa. What is happening to Lucy and to me? I have sent. Uh oh. Wants your soul. What is happening? Is this olden times or now times? Why is she going out with him? I do not care at all for this or about this. What? What is happening? I really, really don't understand why they kept so many specific things from the book, except this random reading, uh, long lost love reincarnation plot. Like, it's just so weird to me. Why? Who read this book and was like, you know what we need? We need to take our villain 
who is formidable and intimidating and give him a love story. Like why? And why Nina? Leave Nina alone. She has a fiance. I think it also bugs me too because in the book everybody comes together to try to figure out the Dracula problem. She figures out so many things like she is so clever and this just takes away from her character's cleverness. Like she's obviously not figuring anything out she's just being told about it and it just reduces her to a love interest. And what I liked in the book, one of my favorite parts of the book, one of the reasons why she's one of my favorite literary characters is because she's more than a love interest. She's very smart, she's very proactive, and is a key player in the hunt. This is weird. Why did they do this? And especially in the context of this specific story, Dracula has imprisoned and basically tortured her fiance, the man that she loves. He is killing her best friend. Why? And red flag she doesn't know that this all at the moment but why the writers felt the need to make her love him almost like redeem him like no he's hurting the people she loves we don't need a love story like that no he also escapes immediately after dracula leaves the castle he doesn't chill hanging out there <laughs> what happened now they're dancing where are they dancing? What is going on? Why is Mina not like helping her best friend who is very sick? She made it through the wilderness. You are one of the lights, dear Mina. The light of all light. What? Also in the book, because Mina figures so many things out and is so clever, Van Helsing is just constantly hyping her up and talking about how smart she is. And they have one of my favorite friendships in the book. Garlic. Ah! Van Helsing, put a stop to this. Ah! No. Van Helsing, the book, is quick with it. He was like a middle school chaperone jumping in there. He's like, no kissing, leaving room for the Holy Spirit. Literally, we need Jesus. Come on, Anthony Hopkins. Pick it up. I skinned them alive and cut them to pieces and then drank their blood. Why'd he have to do all that if he was heartbroken? Yeah. Is that his crying? Why are his tears purple? What are these choices? <laughs> Serious, what are you doing? You can't compete with Neo. He's the one. What? Oh, I've pursued all my life. You have? Well, you're a sick old buzzard. She's the winning recruit of Bradley follow her. Why is he making it sound like Lucy like was willing? She didn't seem willing. There's also a lot of infighting between the men. They were kind of a band of bros in the book. <laughs> Come on, you've you got to stay up. gonna drink through the veil? They are really making out in the church. So what do they think happened? Like what happened? The book is a lot more subtle. I do think the book needs more action but like what exactly happened? What do they think happened? In the book she basically just slowly dies. He keeps drinking her blood. He keeps going back to drink her blood. Nobody could catch him. What happened here? Was she bald? Like what? I'm so confused. No, 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 not exactly. I just want to cut off her head and take out her heart. <laughs> He's a great fan. It's like the tiny hope that lives in me, that I will again see my prince. Stop. Is he here? Uh oh. Undead. This movie has such a great cast. Gary Oldman, Winona Ryder, Keanu Reeves, Sir Anthony Hopkins, Carrie Ellis, and really good actors, but like, Francis Ford Coppola is one of the you know, most prolific directors. There's no reason why this movie shouldn't have been amazing. The thing about it too is that it has very campy moments, but then it also has very like serious and we want to be ooh, dark, and it's just two completely different tones at times. 
Where's she at, though? Lucy! <laughs> Be gone, thought. <laughs> the power of his might! We're strong in the Lord and the power is my future! No! <laughs> I bring you from shadow! Okay, that one got me. Life. Sucks for you! Oh, yum. <laughs> yeah, she was in great pain. And we cut off her head and drove a stick to her heart. And then she found Doctor! Please! In the book, Mina pretty much puts two and two together on her own. She then listens to Seward's diary recordings of everything because she wants to put everything, all of their different diaries, together to help solve the problem. Because she's smart like that. Does she know yet that the guy she was hanging out with is the person who did all this? The squad! <laughs> <laughs> They're cutting out a whole part to get Romina, and then later Jonathan. Together a timeline so everybody's on the same page, like everyone has all the information. And in doing so, they, the Harkers figure out that Renfield is connected to Dracula. And one of the thing, reasons why I love Mina so much is it picks up on a lot. She's clever and she's proactive. She, she's always kind of one step ahead or trying to think ahead. And so not only is she just reduced to love interest in this movie, she's very passive. Everything is just happening to her and she's going along with everything that everyone else is doing. And it just sucks. It sucks that they just like stripped her of her personality and took away like all of her good traits, her loyalty, her cleverness, her proactiveness. My master tells me about you. Let me tell you. What's he that say about me? Here. Get away from these men. Leave, get out. Right now. You promised me eternal life, but you give it to the pretty woman. Doctor! You'll be completely safe here. Couldn't even give her some garlic, a crucifix. Ew. He's got so many different forms. Close the window. You have. How? Because he gave me a heads up. In the book, he actually tries to fight Dracula, like physically, to stop him from getting to Mina. All he did was like give her a heads up, but that didn't really do anything. You murdered Lucy. Yeah, check him in the face. <laughs> I'm so confused. I can't tell if it's her or if it's her old life. Like I don't know, or maybe it's both. I, I just I don't know. Why would you want to be with the person that murdered your best friend? I can't, I can't, I can't get on board with that. I mean it in the book, hated him so much. I'm using Coppola's words against him. Look how you massacred my girl. I would like a written apology from everyone involved in this production. Oh, oh. Ow, that sounded like it hurt. Nina! Ah! <laughs> that got me. <laughs> what your God has done to me. You brought it on yourself, my dude. Why is she stopping him? Ew. Like, she wanted it. So, like, how is the movie gonna go now? Because, like, they didn't make it seem like it was her old life. They made it seem like it was her. He was calling her Mina. She was speaking like Mina, like you wanted this lady, now you're a bad guy, get rid of her too. I don't even know if she likes Jonathan Harker, like she doesn't even seem to care about him. Let's see where they go from here. Do it fine. Yeah. What? I want to hypnotize you. Also in the book, it's Mina's idea. She goes to Van Helsing and proposes being hypnotized. The few things that they can keep for her to do, they get rid of. I hate this. Your eyes are heavy. Like, you can't even feel bad for her because she chose it. Like, I'm so confused by what the audience reaction to this is supposed to be. Are we supposed to be worried? Like, are we supposed to be rooting for her to be saved or not? She said she wanted to live with him forever, that he's, like, her long lost love. So, like, are we rooting for that to happen or not? I can appreciate complexities and complex characters. I'm sorry, I can't get on board with a romance with one half a murderous monster who murdered the best friend of the other half of the couple. Call me a hater, but I can't get down with that. Well, 
not let you go into the unknown alone. But in this movie, they barely have had a conversation. If you wanted a romance, it was right there already. That's so cool. Damn, Mina, you should have brought a jacket. Sailed past us in the night fog to the northern port of Galatis. That's in the book. Black devil is reading Mina's mind. So another thing, and she also says to him, well, something like kind of figured out together, it seems. If she can spy on the Count, then he can spy on her back. And then after this happens, after he does the switcheroo and goes to Galat and of Florida, Mina launches into this whole thing where she analyzes all the different routes and everything to try to figure out what's most logical. And she figures out how to catch up to the count. And it's amazing. Who, who are they going to give that to? Who, who's going to get Mina's credit in this one? Arthur hasn't spoken in a while. He, he could use some lines, I guess. Mina! She needs me, Mina. we must go! What is with her? Oh. Ma'am, you good? I know that Lucy harbored secret desires for you. She told me. What is going she on? Poor horses. Oh. The fly eating and the horse murder absolutely desecrated Mina's character, but they kept the animal violence. Chilling in the dirt. What is she doing? Now she's doing witchcraft. The sun has been setting for like an hour now. Ah, Quincy. And the Uber driver starts making their own route. <laughs> when my time comes, will you do the same to me? Yes. Our work is finished here. What? Hers has just begun. What? What? What is going on? What is this ending? How can their marriage even go on after this? I understood at last how my love could release us all from the powers of darkness. What? Yeah! Do not tell me that the power of love is gonna save the day! This is a Disney movie! <sighs> what? The damn hell. You and Lewis in the news about to like play us out in the credits? The power of love? Like, this is supposed to be one of the greatest like horror figures of all time. I am disgusted. The power of love. The power of love. I don't want to. And Dracula. Like, how is she going to go back to the man that she married? That was pretty awful. She loves the Count so much, or the Prince, or whatever the hell. Why did she get married? <laughs> how does that relationship work from now on? Like, she actively tried to damn herself. Like, did she even want to be saved? It muddles the stakes. Okay, I'm not opposed to the complicated aspect of it. I just feel like I didn't understand Mina's motivations. Because did she want it or did she not? Was it her past self? Was it not? I think Gary Ullman did a fantastic job. I think the movie format made it more action-packed. Gary Ellis, I was so excited for him to show up and then he had like five lines. Quincy Seth doesn't even have an emotional impact because you barely know anything about him besides the fact that he's from Texas. And like granted, none of the characters in the book are very deep either, but at least like you spent 400 pages with them. And like some of my favorite parts of the book are like the group coming together, figuring things out, hunting the countdown, and all that just gets, they get rid of it. Jonathan Harker in the book is a nap taking king. Keanu Reeves didn't take one nap in this whole movie. You had 400 pages worth of a book. You had it all written out. It was right there for you. I went into this knowing I was going to hate it. Boy oh boy did that power of love ending just piss me off so much. But maybe, maybe I'll continue to do these book to movie watches or do some more books. So that is Francis Ford Coppola's Where I'm Stoker's Dracula. I highly 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 encourage reading the book and I also encourage you to check out my vlog where I go through the book three chapters at a time. Alright that's going to be it for tonight. 